Easter eggs in GTA 5. Yes, guys, we are back. Get your tinfoil hats on because today is going to be an amazing day. I have got two Easter eggs to showcase in today's episode. One of them is just for fun and the other one is pretty crazy. In fact, you're definitely going to need some popcorn, a tinfoil hat, and just something to get your head ready because this is going to blow your mind. <laughs> Several years ago, Rockstar Games added something into the game which still hasn't been released. In fact, nobody knows why this was even in the game in the first place but this year this next few weeks or months might prove something special and uh <laughs> you guys are gonna love this anyway without wasting any more time smash that thumbs up button since you know guys we're doing an easter egg episode when was the last time we did one of these a long time ago i know you love them i love them as well and we just get to uncover exciting things about the game which haven't yet been found <laughs> well 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 where do we begin hmm do I go with the easy one or the best one? No, we gotta go with the best one first. <laughs> this Easter egg was added in in 2013, and it may have been added in with the game, or it might have come in with a very early DLC. What we know, though, is that it came in in 2013, and... Uh, let me show you guys what it's about. First up, we got to go over to this platform over here. And this actually makes perfect sense. I've never suspected a single thing about this place until now. And it makes so much sense. Because look at this. It is facing directly at Mount Chiliad. They have an entire camp set up here. And check this out, guys. If we actually go inside this telescope, it will point you towards... Watch this. Directly at the top of Mount Chiliad. Look at that, guys, where the first UFO spawns in at the end of the game. If you go all the way to the right, it will show you guys the camp where the other UFO spawns in. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but you can just about see the hill in the background. And then if we go all the way to the left, it takes you over to Fort Sancuto, where the other UFO spawns in. It's pretty much set up exactly where the UFO spawn in, and they know exactly where to look. So this location has been set up to give you guys a clue of the whole UFO mystery easter egg place. Now you guys know why this place exists in the game. <laughs> this is something I learned. But the reason why this is significant is because in the game files, when the game was first released, Rockstar Games attached something to a telescope. And this is the only one in the game which I can imagine they would have attached this to because let's be honest, it faces Mount Chiliad, it faces the camp down there where the other UFO spawns in, and it faces Fort Sancuto where the third UFO spawns in. You know, it's locked onto every single one of them. Now in the game files, they attached this thing to a telescope, which is an entire, basically, cover which goes over your screen, and it's all of these alien runes, which kind of animate and stuff, and it's a little glitch and everything, and it's kind of like you're inside a spaceship. <laughs> now, this was added in to a telescope. It was also added in to, like, just a scene on your character where it just displays over, and it's also been displayed in something else, I believe. Three different things. Um, so this was basically an event which Rockstar Games had planned to put in the game, which, guess what, has not yet been put in the game. <laughs> Yeah. And it's not like I found it in any adversary mode or anything else like that. It just hasn't been added to the game. Now, although I have no idea what this is, what it could mean, why this is even in the game, <laughs> a few people have tried to decode this and figure out a couple of things about what it could mean and stuff, but still, not, not much good luck has come from this. But with the recent DLCs, well, not so recent, the, the ones which have come over in the past few years with all of these murals and stuff and alien runes, even actually, let's go over to the camp, guys. Even if we take a look over here, these runes are still displayed and and although no one still knows exactly what they mean, it shows that these runes are, you know, all related and stuff. It's to do with these aliens and these UFOs. So the biggest theory right now is that at some point, you're meant to look through that telescope and you're meant to see that display or something. For whatever reason, it's still unknown, but Rockstar Games, for whatever reason, haven't added this to the game yet. And it was added in in 2013. That's seven years of waiting almost, which Rockstar Games have made us wait. <laughs> and still, it's not in the game. Now this is why I'm excited about it, guys, because this year is a very special year, and let's just say a few fans are expecting this to be introduced to the game any moment now. In fact, in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, just check out this tweet, guys, from Rockstar Mag, which is effectively an unofficial magazine in France, but for some reason out of the blue, they decided to tweet this, <laughs> and it's left so many fans in, like, disarray of do I believe this? Do I not believe this? Like, it's unofficial, but why would they tweet this in the first place? I mean, it just it 
it doesn't make sense. So something might actually be coming to the game, which really excites me. And it could be to do with the seven year old Easter egg. And this is what I love about it, guys. We've heard from rumors and stuff that the next DLC, whichever DLC Rockstar Games are planning this year, or the next one after that, is something unexpected. And this is why I'm excited. Around here somewhere is a poster. I'm just trying to find the poster. <laughs> Come on, where's the poster, Rockstar? Ah, here we go, guys. Los Santos 2020, the movie poster which has been in the game since day one. And I've looked this up on the GTA wiki, and this is meant to be an unreleased movie or something which we're not able to see. But loads of fans can't help but speculate that Rockstar has something planned in the year 2020 with aliens. And these runes and stuff which I have seen, which haven't yet been released, again, added in in 2013, just kind of back that up for me. <laughs> Yeah. And I was speaking to a few other Easter egg and mystery people in the community who do an amazing job at finding new Easter eggs and solving mysteries and stuff. And they jokingly said that the Los Santos 2020 thing has actually happened in GTA Online with all of the green versus purple aliens and stuff. But hey, that's just another topic. <laughs> yeah. Either way, there is a lot of excitement this year coming into GTA 5 that something big is going to happen. And the thing is, those telescopes are there in GTA Online. I asked my friend to check them out and he could see them. So this could be an Easter egg for GTA 5 single player. It could be an easter egg for GTA Online or both. Who knows, guys? But what we do know is that these runes were meant to be featured over your display or when you look through a telescope. You know, it, it's in three different varieties, I believe. Through a telescope, on your display, and something else. So Rockstar Games have something planned for this. It's just what? What do they have planned for this, guys? Is it an Alien Invasion DLC this year? Maybe. <laughs> Let's be honest. It really isn't the craziest idea if this was released in 2020. But hey, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know the future. All I know is there is a buildup of excitement building in the community right now to do with these alien runes, to do with Los Santos 2020, and to do with the other information we have from the past of just searching in the game files and finding things which Rockstar Games are basically sitting on, waiting to release to the game. Anyway, let's go on to the next Easter egg, because yes, guys, there is something else I want to show you. <laughs> and this is going to change your perspective on a very well-known established mystery Easter egg in GTA 5. Let's do this. And now for the next part of the video, I am going to turn your heads upside down when it comes to this Easter egg, guys. Because the Infinite Eight person, he was like the first ever Easter egg mystery ever solved and found in this game. And up until now, I may have actually just found out that it may have just been a complete lie. And the actual Infinite Eight person is still out there. <laughs> if we go inside, some things which never actually made sense to me were the tally marks. Check it out, guys. Look, five... 5, 10 over here. There's like 20 tally marks. Why on earth would he put tally marks here other than to mark out the victims he took? And if that's the case, then why is it saying he took 8 victims? Because over here I can see there's at least 20 tally marks and probably more somewhere else around here. And 8 is just infinity stood up. So hey, he may have taken out 20, he may have taken out 30, or he may have taken out 8 people. It doesn't really matter, guys. What I know for sure is that this person is either an imposter or a liar, or this entire mystery just was one big lie, I guess. You know, the actual Infinite Eight guy is out there and this person might just be mimicking everything he's doing. Because let's be honest, he knows exactly where the bodies are. Look at this, guys. There's a marking over there. That's where they are. You know, it's the top of the map. And this is how we solved this mystery. But check this out. <laughs> I think whoever was behind this was an imposter and the real Infinite Eight person is still on the run somewhere else. Go away, Merle Abrahams. You're wrong. Un which translates to one, basically. So go away, Merle Abrahams, you're a wrong one. Initially, everyone just assumed this was the markings of the town, like Merle Abrahams, go away, you're a wrong person. You know, you're terrible. <laughs> but if you actually flip this around and think about it as if he was an imposter, this could be the official, the real Infinite Eight person writing this. Because look at it, guys. Eight, 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 eight. You know, all of the markings are over there. His markings are officially there. And it says, go away, Merle Abrahams, you're a wrong one. You know, you're the wrong guy. Stop trying to imposter to me, go away. Inside this rundown house, which is suspected to be Merle Abrahams's house, which may have also been destroyed by the community, there is a newspaper clipping inside. And what it reads is the suspected Infinite Eight, Merle Abrahams, unfortunately dies in prison, December 2004. We knew this because there's markings inside the prison, which again suggest 
where he kept his victims. Mill Abrahams is the suspected Infinite Eight person who passed away last night. Abrahams 57 was suspected responsible for the Infinite Eight series of disappearances that happened five years ago. Police believe that the eight victims were all single young men joggers who were out for a jog and were abducted and taken out by the Infinite Eight person. Apparently there is evidence against him, but he is still a suspect and no bodies were ever found and Abrahams never confessed, although he did admit to a weird obsession with the number eight. This could be an imposter we're dealing with, guys. He had an obsession for the number eight. He never found the victims and the police believe that every single person he took out were male joggers. Young male joggers. Keep that in mind. Let's go over to the victims and find out exactly who they are at the top of Polito Bay. So straight off the bat, I can tell you this is not a man. This is definitely a female. The structure and the shape of this body suggest that, guys. And if you actually look closer by putting a glass window in front of this, you can take away the tape and see the body underneath. I'm not going to do that because I'm not allowed to show that on YouTube, but I promise you guys, these are not single young men. So this Mill Abrahams guy was 100% not the real Infinite Eight person. The real Infinite Eight person is still out there, still wandering the streets, and has not yet been found. Mill Abrahams was simply an imposter because these victims are not young male joggers. In fact, they are all females, every single one of them. There is not a single male at the bottom of the ocean. I can tell you that right now. Check it out for yourself if you don't believe me, but every single one of these are females, guys. Meaning only one thing, Mill Abrahams was an imposter and he didn't take out any young male joggers. Instead, he took out females, something the police didn't actually find out themselves. So, where's the real Infinite Eight person? Well, there's a few clues, you know, suggesting he's in Los Santos. Let's go and check it out right now. The riddle on the rocks, the one thing which was found pretty much on day one of the game. Eight different clues. I believe the real Infinite Eight person wrote this and Mill Abraham saw this and got an obsession with eight and became an imposter, leaving the real Infinite Eight person out there somewhere. And you never know, guys, he could still be walking the streets. Either way, I thought it would get you guys thinking. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. And what do you think about the alien runes? Do you think they're going to be added in soon? Do you think we have something exciting to look forward to? Or do you think Rockstar games don't plan on using them at all. Either way, there is a lot of exciting stuff in the game files, a lot of exciting mysteries, and I love stuff like this. So if you want to see me post more videos like this, smash that thumbs up button, and the moment I get something else significant, I will let you guys know straight away. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out when I do eventually post that. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Nort. Stay awesome, have a great day, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much to these amazing people for becoming a member of the channel. If you guys would like to have your name randomly selected and featured at the the end of every video just like these amazing people then press the join button just below this video and become a member of the channel today and feel free to watch another video there's two on the screen right now anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon